go Tell me something that I don't know Burke ain't even shine a gun, but now they be really in the hood Tell me something that I don't know They don't wanna see it shine, see it's grind, see a nigga doing good Tell me something that I don't know All these trees, all these fees, all these cheese got a nigga feeling good Tell me What's up guys, that I don't welcome know. to another episode I don't know of Nashville, you know. but I know Today we're going to be taking a look at another fragrance from the house of Serge Luton. This is the third scent that I've reviewed from this house, and actually the third in my collection. Uh, I have quite a few more that I want to buy from this house, including Brineo 1834, Jodepo, and many others. But this one is the one that most people start out with, and it is called Chergi. Now, I started off with Fi and Agui, which I got from Aids de Venustis, and then my second scent from the house was Five O'Clock Ujonjambra, and I like that one a lot, but for me that one's a little too soft, really well blended, and the quality's excellent, but I actually want a little bit more from that one. So today we come to Chair Geek. Now if you want backstory on the House of Serge Luton, um, please do watch the video that I did on Fi and Agui, but basically Luton is a cosmetic and fragrance house that is owned by Shishido, the Japanese cosmetic giant. And it's a very high esteemed house in the niche fragrance world. They have so many scents available, um, some in the very expensive splash bell jars and some in these 50 ml bottles that come with splash and spray tops. Christopher Sheldrake does most of the scents for this house. And in my experience, Serge Luton's does dark cold weather scents very well and sort of struggles with spring and summer scents. So sort of like the opposite problem that Creed has. If you were just to wear Creed in the spring and summer and Luton in the fall and winter, you'd be doing pretty well with your fragrance selections. Chergi was released in 2005. Christopher Sheldrake was the perfumer. And you can get this uh, at many niche spots like Barney's, Aids de Venustis, Lucky Scent, All Carry Serge Luton. But this line can thankfully also be found at discount spots like Amazon, Fragrance Scent, and Beauty Encounter. And in fact, I did pick my bottle up of Chergi for about $65 on Amazon. Uh, the 50 ml at the like, places I mentioned, like Barney's or Lucky Scent, the 50 ml is going to retail for $150. The name Chergi comes from a dry desert wind that drifts through Morocco in the summertime. That's the name of the wind. As far as notes go on Chergi, you've got honey, musk, incense, tobacco leaf, hay, sugar, amber, iris, rose, and sandalwood. Now, as far as presentation goes with these, the box... Um, either has the name of the fragrance in black or white and if it's white it's sort of a release that all the stores that carry Luton gets and if it's black it's um, indigenous to certain stores. The front of the box is the name of the fragrance, the logo in Paris Eau de Parfum and you have the size. On the bottom you have the batch code and the barcode. On the back you have your ingredients nothing else the bottle does contain a it comes when it comes it comes with a splash top and it comes with this atomizer that you unscrew and you stick onto your bottle bottles minus the bell jars all pretty much look the same there's a few that are different but for the most part the service of tons bottles look like this you have the name of the fragrance you have a cap and as I said, you have an atomizer, which is really easy to screw um, on or off. And the atomizers are really good on the Serge Luton fragrances. Uh, the bottles are fairly light. They have a sticker on the bottom. And uh, that's it. I actually really like the way these look in a collection. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Serge Luton scent, but I'd much rather have the fragrances in those bell jars. But I'll tell you what, since the bell jars don't come with an atomizer, I'll take these with the atomizer. So as far as this scent goes, guys, a couple of months ago, I was watching a sort of a new reviewer doing a first impression of this scent. And he cracked it open, he sprayed it on his arm, and he was really let down by what he smelled. Um, and he wondered if he had gotten perhaps a bad bottle because this isn't what he expected. And it was funny to me because I remember when I smelled this for the first time, I blind bought this, um, I kind of felt the same way. Now, I didn't think that I had a bad bottle, but I just thought that I had just bought the wrong scent for me. You know, guys, there are all kinds of tobacco scents out there, right? There's like the pipe, very obvious tobacco notes of tobacco vanille. There's the sort of fresh, wet tobacco leaf scents like The Dreamer by Versace. There are the really light and restrained tobacco scents like the tobacco note in Pure Havan. There are these in your face tobacco scents like Tabaco by Odori and there are even gourmand tobacco scents like Amber Nargi. 
To me, Chergi is the niche equivalent of the Dreamer by Versace. To me, it starts out with a really dry accord that smells like a wet tobacco leaf and hay, okay? That's what I get at the start of this scent. And for me, that is bone dry. And when I smell that for the first time, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, what the fuck is this? Now, as it settles on the skin, it starts to sweeten up for me. That happens within 15 minutes, and then I get touches of honey and sandalwood. And by that point, by that point, this fragrance starts to really become about tobacco leaf and honey. And that's the mainstay of the fragrance for the length of the fragrance. I'm not saying that I don't get other notes. I definitely pick up sandalwood and incense. There's a beautiful incense note in this fragrance. Uh, make no mistake, Serge Luton's does incense really well. Not quite at like an homage level, but they know what they're doing with their incense. There's also a little bit of rose in the composition, and I get a bit of iris and musk. I think the iris gives the, the fragrance a bit of cleanliness, but for me, at its heart, Chirgi is a scent built upon dominant notes of honey and wet tobacco leaf. Lasts on my skin for quite some time, eight to 10 hours, and it projects reasonably well, but certainly not at insane levels. This is close to a skin scent for me, which I don't mind. These tobacco scents you really don't want roaring off your skin. I'm happy with the way this fragrance performs. I would say this is unisex juice, but if the arrow had to lean one way, I'd say it probably leans toward masculine. And I would say this can work three out of four fragrances in the year. I think the one it might not is summer you know this would be tough to pull off in the summer but i think you could probably probably rock with this on a summer evening and this has multiple uses casual out in a date and i think this one might be soft enough to get away with at the office with proper application if you can't get this and you wanted something like this or just couldn't afford this and wanted something a little bit cheaper well there's not many comparisons i can make to this one dreamer by versace is probably the best if you're looking for a tobacco scent the other ones i mentioned i feel like are some of the best in class dreamer uh tobacco by adori pure havan by terry mugler tobacco of knee by tom ford or tobacco 1812 by west third brand and of course the gorgeous amber narki by hermes but i think the closest to this one for me in my opinion is dreamer uh, and you might want to try this and dreamer both and see which one you really like to which one you really like if someone were trying to sell you on Cherokee, i think they'd say it's a very good service with ton scent and a steal a real steal at the discounted price beautiful tobacco rendition. It's very nice with the honey, very unique, and the Luton presentation is really classy. I think if someone were trying to dissuade you from buying this fragrance, they might say there are better tobacco scents out there. This is not even close, in my opinion, to the best fragrance in the Serge Luton lineup. And I think they'd also tell you not to pay retail for this. Um, and then they might say, how many tobacco scents does the average person need? There are ones better. And this scent has a little bit of a learning curve to it. And do you really want a fragrance that has a little bit of a learning curve to it? Me guys, I really like this scent. And um, it took me a while to understand it, which is why I didn't want to review it for a while. But as you can see, I've used a good portion of my bottle and I'm happy with it. With that said, I have the Dreamer, I have Amber Nargi, I have Tobacco 1812, which is sort of my tobacco of knee. I have Pure Havan, um, I have Tobacco by Adori on my to buy list. And I'm not sure if I'm being honest that I like this one better than any of those. So I'm gonna give Chirgi a seven out of 10. I think it's really good, but I don't think it's the best from Serge Luton. I think Fee and Agui is better. I think Brneo 1834 is better. I think they're far better. Um, I think, to, to me, this is a beginner scent from Serge Luton, but once you start to see what this brand can do, you'll wanna explore some of their more advanced scents, stuff like Musk's Kubla Khan, Lemur, um, Arebi, and, and Cure Marasque, and Santo Maisor. But this is a solid scent from the house and at the price point that it is offered is a tremendous buy. Where this one is dangerous for a newcomer to this hobby is where Aventus is dangerous. What do I mean by that? Well, I remember buying Aventus and getting it and being so hyped up and being like, wait, hold on. This is Aventus? And now a couple of years later, I'm like, well, fucking Aventus is great. But we build these scents up and very few scents get built up to that degree that we as reviewers build them up to, it's very hard to live up to that sort of build up when an average guy buys the fragrance. So while I enjoy Chirgi, 
I'm telling you that as far as tobacco scents go, there are better out there and you can do better. But, 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 give this one a sample and see if it grows on you like it's grown on me and then get it discounted and you've got a really good buy at that point. Uh, Luton, I will give them this, is very rarely, if ever, going to lead you down the wrong road in terms of quality. The fragrances are always high quality. So guys, that is my review of Chergi. I hope you have enjoyed it. We have so many more great reviews coming up. I can't even begin to tell you guys. My list of shit to review is like, it, it's like two years ahead, basically. So I have stuff to review today. Right? So I'm so excited to be doing this. Come back with that black game and we can't eat when we come back. I'm sleep when we come back. Cause I'm cowboys on us. Feds wanna close the case that they building on us Tell us you happy for us and you ain't mad to the coupon Two fools in that wagon I drive the two-tone Fuck if I don't fit in, be happy I stay